In this video, I will show you exactly how to use Substack. So I'll show you how you can start reading on Substack and basically start following creators. And then I will also show you how you can become a creator, how you can set up a paid newsletter, and basically how you can start using Substack, whether you want to be a reader or a writer. Now, even if you want to be a writer, I recommend also watching the first part of this video, which is to become a reader, because then you can look at your competition, which can be very helpful. So first, just head over to Substack.com and from here, click on start reading. Now here you can just choose your interests. For example, if I'm interested in business, then I can select that one. Then here you have some writers that you may like. So these are the most popular writers in this category. So this one right here, I think is the top writer in the business category. So just click subscribe to seven and continue. Now here, enter your email address and click on subscribe and join Substack. Now here, tell them a little bit about yourself. So it helps if you already add your profile picture and then you want to enter your name and your handle and your bio. Now, if you do this, it will make your profile look a lot better. And when you do start writing, you do definitely want to have this done. So I recommend just doing this right here. So then next, you can go and download the Substack app by scanning this QR code with your phone or here you have your email address and you can click send link and then it will be sent to your email address. From there, you can then download the app. Now here you can click start reading and you will have now created your account. Now, if you want to start reading in the top right here, you have all of these categories. So you can just find one that you are interested in and you will see there's a bunch of them. Now, for example, if I'm interested in science, then I can click on that one and then you will see some notes right here. Now, even if you are a reader, you can post a note. So this kind of looks like Twitter and you can just create one of these and it kind of works like a social media, pretty much like Twitter. So people can like it, comment on it and repost it or they can share it elsewhere. And basically this is just sort of Twitter, but then for science, for fiction, literature and a lot of different things. So whatever you're interested in, you can just write your notes right here. Now, for example, if I click on philosophy, then over at the right, you will see there is a leaderboard. So here, Ask Polly is number one for philosophy. Now, if you click on them, you will see that this philosophy newsletter has over 119,000 subscribers. So you can type your email if you want to subscribe to them, and then you will also get their newsletters into your email inbox. But if you click no thanks, then you can just start reading it right here. So you can just click on one of them that you think is interesting, for example, this one. And then here you can start reading their newsletter. So you can do this with any creator on Substack, unless they have a paid newsletter. In that case, you will need to subscribe and actually pay for it. Now in the left menu, you can see currently we are in the home screen, but under that you will see the inbox. So from within your inbox, you will have notifications that are based on your interests. So I selected that I'm interested in business. So therefore, all of these messages or notifications here are about business. Now you can also click paid and then click explore publications and then you can find some paid publications. Now here you can see your saved publications. You can see your media and archived publications. Now here in the chat section, you can actually chat with people. For example, I've got this one right here. If I click on it, you will see this is kind of a group and you can click on any thread to reply. For example, this one right here already has 41 replies. And then you just have a group chat about a certain topic. Then in the activity section here, you can see replies and mentions and restacks. And then here under browse, you can basically find new newsletters that may be interesting to you. Now, if you want to start writing on Substack, what you can do is click on the plus in the left right here. Now you can create a note, which was kind of like Twitter or X, which I showed you earlier, but you can also create a long form post. Now, if you want to create a real blog post, just click on long form. Then here you need to agree to the privacy policy and publisher agreement. So now here you can write a title for your long form post. So just write whatever you want to do. So why this is like this and then add a subtitle and this should really get people to click on it. So write something that is interesting and sparks people's curiosity and specifically people that are actually interested in business, science or any subcategory.
then here you can actually write the long form text. And one tip that I'll give you is on Substack, quality is much more important than quantity. You want to build up a loyal following. Therefore, it's also important to keep your long form posts in one specific category and not to switch from business to science, to literature, to philosophy. Generally, just keep it in one category. Now in the top here, you can also choose the style. So you can add a heading one, heading two, heading three. You can make a cursive text. You can add in a link. You can add an image right here. You can also generate it with AI or add a stock photo. You can add a voiceover or audio embed. You can also embed a video or upload it directly into your newsletter. And you can create a quote right here. You can also create buttons. For example, you can add a subscribe button where people can then subscribe to your newsletter. Now you will see currently it's automatically set to a paid newsletter. However, they can also click on no pledge and then they won't have to pay. Now I'll show you how you can set it to be free or paid, whatever you want to do later in this video. So just kind of write out your entire post and then you can click on preview in the top right. Then you will see mobile or desktop and you will see email right there and you have your free and paid subscribers. So right here you can see what it looks like. So people will see this right here or on desktop, they will see it like this. So if you want to test it, you can click test in the top right and then you can send a test email to yourself or you have the link right here that you can open up. I'll just click done and then click continue. Now this post is either for everyone or only for paid subscribers. If you want to do this, then you need to turn on paid subscribers. So to do that, you can connect your Stripe account. So all payments go through Stripe. And that is a pretty good thing because Stripe is very accessible to many people. Now you can also set up pledge subscriptions. So when turned on, readers of your newsletter will be able to pledge to pay for a future paid subscription. So that way you can see if there's any interest in it, but I'll just turn it off. However, if you turn it on, you can also set the monthly subscription right here to, for example, five US dollars. And it's important to know that Substack takes 10%. Now, once you're here, you can also add your website, set up your basic settings and basically set up everything you want to set up from within here. Now, one thing that is important to cover is that you can convert to a publication. So for advanced use cases like creating a separate website, adding multiple team members or hosting a subscriber chat, you want to convert your Substack to a publication. Now for that, you will need to pay, but it will give you some more advanced features in creating your newsletter. So I'll just go and publish this one. And you can also add tags. So I recommend to add some tags that have to do with what the blog is about, because if you don't do that, then it's pretty hard to get discovered. But for example, if this one is about business, then I'll just write business and click on it right there. Now you can also add the social preview so you can upload an image. Now for the delivery, you can send it via email and the Substack app. And you can also choose to schedule a time to email and publish. I'll just click send to everyone now. And now I have published my first long form post. Now, if you have an audience on a different social media, such as Instagram or Twitter, that you want to convert to your Substack, and you basically want to have those people subscribe to your Substack, then what you can do is just go to your Substack right here. You can do that by just going to the name of your Substack and then .substack.com. Then here you will get to the home right here, but you want to click posts. Then here you can see all of the posts that you have created of this one. Then just click on it Then click on the three dots right here and then click share post. And now you can share it by copying the link, sharing to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can share it as a note or on LinkedIn. So for example, if you click Twitter, it will take you to Twitter and you can then actually go and share your Substack. And by doing that, you can convert people from your social media accounts onto your Substack. Now you can also click podcast right here. And then there's an interesting feature on Substack that not that many people know about, but you can basically bring your Substack to life with audio notes read alouds or full podcast episodes. So you can actually host your podcasts on Substack. So right here, you can choose an audience list for your podcast. I'll just do the same one as for my posts. And then you can start a new podcast or import one if you already have one. Now, if I click start a new podcast and click next, I can then add a description. So what is it about? Then a podcast category, for example, if this one is also business and specifically entrepreneurship, I can then add a second category, for example, if it's also about education, then you can add a podcast tab to your publication site. 
and you can choose the language. Then if you click create podcast, you can now create a new episode for your podcast by simply clicking on record or uploading a file. Then you can add a title, subtitle and write something about this specific podcast. And you can now actually also host your podcasts on Substack. So in this video, you have learned how you can use Substack. I've showed you how you can become a reader and subscribe to specific Substacks from other people. And I've shown you how you can create notes and basically talk to people on Substack. And I've shown you how you can create your own Substack. So that can be either long form posts or podcasts. Now, finally, what I want to show is here in your Substack, you can see your subscribers, you can see your stats, so the trends over time of how many subscribers you have, and in recommendations, you can recommend other Substacks to your readers if you want to do that. So that concludes this full Substack tutorial. If this video was helpful to you, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, we'll see you in the next video.